Hey guys, it's Daryl here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to look at 10 of my favorite picking songs for new guitarists. Let's get started. Alright, so the only prerequisites we need to be able to play through all of these songs is the ability to play through the chords in the key of G. So you need to know your G chord, your A minor, uh, there's no B minor thankfully, but there is a G over B like this, a C major, a C with a high 9, like that, D major, E minor, and the ability to play power chords. So that's just a root note and a fifth played together like that, and you can move it around your neck. So if you can do that, you're good to go. The rest is gonna be up to our right hand. All right, so as we work our way through these 10 picking examples, we're gonna start from simple to complex. So by the time you get to eight, nine, and 10, they should be more advanced. So see if you can play through them all, and if you get stumped on one, stop, see if you can master it, and move on. All right, enjoy. Our first example is Sunday Bloody Sunday by U2. Now this is the perfect place to start if you're just getting into picking, simply because you only need three strings and you don't have to skip any strings. So we're gonna set our fingers up into a D chord, but not a traditional one. We're gonna bar three strings and then use your middle finger on second string. Your ring finger is gonna to go to the B note, which is fourth fret on third string. And here's what it sounds like. Okay, and then up to speed. Our second example is gonna be the song Needs by Collective Soul. Now this one, we introduce some skipping strings and our bass note is gonna go from a G, drop down to a C, back to a B, and up to an F sharp. So sort of a little square. And our right hand is gonna be doing a recurring pattern. It sounds like this. And then up to speed. Our third example is the song Hallelujah by Leonard Cohen. And of course, Jeff Buckley did a famous version of it as well as many other artists. Uh, this is in 6-8, so that just creates a, a new feel for a right hand to deal with. And it's also got a passing tone. So the shapes we're gonna use is a G shape, and you just need the top of the G, you don't need the whole thing. So you use your strong fingers, and then we're gonna use your index finger to play that passing note, which is an F sharp. Then we go to an E minor, then we hit the passing note again, and back to the G. And then we just kind of go back and forth in that pattern. Here's what it sounds like. And then up to speed. Our next example is More Than a Feeling by Boston. Now this is a great one to train your right hand. There's lots of skipping strings. So this is based around a D chord with your pinky and that's called a D sus4. And then we're gonna to go to a C9, a G over B and a G. Okay, and meanwhile, your right hand's gonna be skipping all over the place. So let's try it out. And then up to speed. Our next song is by Maylene and the Sons of Disaster. Now this one is in drop D tuning, so you'll have to take your sixth string and tune it to a D note. Sounds like that. And that enables us to do that uh, really cool kind of bluesy bend at the end of this tune. So here's what it sounds like. And then a little faster. And if you don't want to do just the note, you can hit a big D chord at the end. It also sounds really good. All right, our next song is Winds of Change by Cutlass. This one's drop D tuning as well, so you should be good to go. Now, our right hand's going to be doing something a little bit unique. All your fourth string notes are going to be up strokes. So it's going to sound like this. You're going to go down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. And then you're going to go to sixth string and use that same pattern. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. So it can be a little tricky at first, but let's play through it. And then of 
possible and um, the, the main riff on your middle finger so that you can loop it. And let's play it up to speed. And so forth. So it's a really fun picking song. The next picking example is The Cave by Mumford & Sons. Now this one is tuned to an open D chord. So you're gonna need to tune your strings D, A, D, F sharp, A, D. And that's gonna give it a really rich sound. Like that. Now we don't actually use our first and second strings in this example, so if you don't wanna tune that, you don't have to. You can just tune your, your sixth string to a D and your third string to an F sharp, and then you're good to go. And this is a fantastic uh, exercise for your picking hand, simply because the speed uh, of this song is, uh, yeah, it's quite fast. But anyway, here's what it sounds like. Next example is Simple Man by Leonard Skinner. Now this one is quite a bit more involved uh, in terms of your right hand picking than our previous examples, but don't get discouraged, just play through it slowly. It's absolutely worth learning this song. It's such a great uh, right hand exercise and a beautiful song. So here's what it sounds like. <laughs> Our next song is by 10th Avenue North. It's called By Your Side. Now this is a fantastic picking song. Your left hand is gonna be making power chords. So we're gonna start up on 10th fret, which is a G, and then we're gonna move it to an E, to a D, and to a C. So we're gonna be sliding down from 10th to 7th to 5th to 3rd. So we don't have to do too much with your left hand other than slide it, um, but all the action is gonna be happening in the right hand. Now, because you're playing up high fretted notes and uh, open strings, it can be really confusing to your brain because as you're playing up high um, fretted notes, it's telling you you should be playing your thin strings, but you're actually playing your thick strings. So yeah, it's a, a good confusing pattern. But anyway, uh, let's play through it slowly and uh, here's what it sounds like. and then up to speed. All right, our final example is Street Spirit by Radiohead. This is a great tune. Now, lots of skipping in the right hand, so it's a good challenge. And then while we're making our A minor chords, our E minor chords, and our C chords, we also need a de descending movement on the second string from a D to a C to a B. So while you're making your chords, you also have to make that D, C, B happen. So it's uh, nice and complex. Here's what it sounds like. Now that A minor chord with the DCB is a huge part of that song, so I would say just master that part first. And then go on to your other chords. And your other chords are an E minor. And also a C major later on. you guys enjoyed picking through these songs let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite and if you guys have any examples of good picking songs yeah drop them in the comments as well i'd love to see those i hope this was a great way to kick off your monday have a fantastic week we'll see you guys next week with a new video take care